On to our first book, it's These Days by Lucy Calder. Now, Anna, I know you love the wartime books. This is a book set in that time. Tell us all about it. So I just want to say it's These Days and I absolutely love this book. And um, yeah, you're right, I do. I'm a bit of a war baby. This is World War II and it's Belfast and it's the raids that happened over a period of two months uh, that absolutely obliterated the city. And I, I, and I had no idea. I had no idea about it. And so it was new and it was interesting and it was brilliantly told. Lucy Caldwell is just an incredible writer. She's literary, but not in that highbrow, really boring way where it takes, you know, an hour to tell you know, what the wall looked like. You know what I mean? It's, it's, she's a storyteller. She's a rattling storyteller, along with being really lyrical and just beautiful. And I actually, so basically, I just want to tell you basically what it's about. It's, it's about two sisters primarily, but actually there's a wider family involved. Um, Emma and Audrey. Audrey is in a relationship and it looks like they'll probably settle down and get married. And then Emma is kind of this, kind of g girl on her own but she falls in love with this other girl that she's that she's kind of working with and it, it's just a beautiful story their two lives are beautifully drawn but then the wider family becomes involved and the effects of the blitz on them and then there's a little girl called Maisie who manages to interact with one of the sisters at a certain point and the first scene where you meet Maisie, she's on a train coming from Dublin with contraband. Um, and all these people are sitting on the train and the custom guys are coming in and it and they're terrified. And it's the most beautifully written scene. But can I just, I just want to give you like a tiny bit. It's just a few lines, but basically this is page six of the book. And if you don't, if you're not in by the, this, don't bother, right? <laughs> but if you are and you're like me, you're going to lose the rest of your day, right? So basically it's nighttime. Everybody's in bed. The family are all in bed and we're with Emma at this point and she wakes up, right, with a bang. And it's basically, as she watches, tries to make sense of what she's seeing, there is another burst of gunfire, another bright flare. A few seconds later, another great juddering thud. Mother, she says, and the word is a scratch in her mouth. Mother, she says again, and this time louder. Father, mother, Audrey, Paul. She's shouting now, stumbling back through her room, bumping her shin on the corner of the bed. Wake up, wake up, everyone. A moment later, as if her cry has woken them too, the siren sound. Oh, that unearthly wail of them, rising and falling, far and near and far in ancient keening which seems to scoop something from the pit of your stomach. Footsteps, voices calling, doors opening, the rest of the family coming onto the la landing. Audrey in her nightgown, hair tumbled around her shoulders, hopping as she tries to pull on socks. Paul, bleary-eyed in flannel pyjamas. Mother in her hairnet, tying the cord of her pale wincinette dressing gown. Father's normally slicked and parted hair awry, shouting for mother to help find his spectacles, already shouting out about gas masks too, about getting under the stairs now for heaven's sake hurry up now I was in that was it page six I was done <laughs> Kieran, would that be something do you think that you'd be into now or yeah I, I love the, like books that, like kind of historical fiction as well particularly when it's around an era we wouldn't know much about you know I'd say the CJ Sampson books are, yeah. are, are kind of good examples of that maybe um, and we don't it's funny down here we don't know anything really well I say we I mean I don't but I think Me it's either. probably true of a lot of people we don't really know much about the war experience yeah. of the North. I think we know more about the war experience of, of London yes. and the Blitz in London and Birmingham and Coventry and all of these places. We probably even know more about Dresden being, yeah. you know, uh, uh, carpet bombed than we do about what happened in Belfast. And I think as well, um, touching on with Emma and, you know, LGBTQ+, which mm. you probably wouldn't hear of back in those times and especially that kind of, you know, wartime book. Yeah, and again, it was so beautifully done because it was just so ordinary. It, there, it wasn't this big, oh, now we're going to have the gay characters. Mm -hmm. It was so everyday and ordinary, even in that time. Yes, it was secret. Yes, they, you know, she looked and lamented at her sister and what her sister could do, bring the fiancé home, all of that kind of thing. She imagined what it would be like to bring her lover to the house and, you know, be with the family and all of that. But it was just so beautifully done. I can't tell you. I mean, I just, I, lo I love this book. <laughs> you definitely sold, I think, to all of us now.